All right, folks, so in this video, we're going to look at power limits and specifically, what does it do to the temperatures in your CPU? What does it do to uh, the overall package TDP and the core TDP? So what, what temperatures uh, and what are the wattages that we're going to see? We'll also look at three different benchmarks. Um, Cinebench, we'll do a user benchmark.com and this XTU benchmark inside of Intel's Extreme Utility. We'll see if uh, when we're at 65 watts what those scores are and after we set it to unlimited we'll see also what the scores become. I will demonstrate in here what uh, what I did and I'll show you some stuff but unfortunately using OBS um, instead of a capture card my capture card died last week so um, we're stuck with doing OBS for this. Uh, OBS does have an effect on the benchmark and therefore um, I can't run the whole thing here and get a good score but you will see some idea that uh, get an idea of what the temperatures uh, become and so that may be useful to you all okay so let's get into it now, uh, power limit one is basically known as Turbo Boost Power Max, and in case you don't know, uh, hover over this I, and you'll see PL1, and the default 65 watts. Right now, we got it at 65 watts. In a moment, we will push this all the way to the end. Power limit two is over here, okay, and its default is 224. It is known as Turbo Boost Short Power Max, okay. When I change this all the way to unlimited, this guy will move on its own, okay? So now let's look at uh, a couple of things here. Let's go ahead and look at some benches real quick. So 65 watt bench, here is your score. Just look at the orange, 3922. The other number is actually gonna be higher when we do uh, power limits. Intel XTU benchmark, 3296. Uh, there's two places where it mentions the CPU temperature, 71, and the package one was 69. All right, so what else? CPU's benchmark. So did this one without a GPU, 1% background usage. We'll take a look at this again, but here's a score, 78 percentile, so it's performing good. The overall bench 99.4 for the CPU and uh, these scores here, which uh, if you're not doing this on a Z490, it's a B460 and you haven't made any adjustments, you will get a, a score probably in the 1100s, okay? Uh, these scores may improve, they may not improve, okay? So we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so... I'm in here and I want to do the XTU benchmark, so I would click on over here. Uh, by the way, before I do that, if you're going to do any overclocking with a K-type processor, just a core processor, this is the software that uh, you would use. And it's pretty simple. Benchmarking. So we're going to go ahead and hit this. I will probably stop it before it finishes just to show you guys uh, some stuff. But uh, you see that the purple line here is the temperature, and you see that it started to climb a little. Um, we see a recent max of 59 degrees Celsius, so it is starting to raise up. Um, over here, you see there was a power limit that was hit, okay? And that power limit was probably hit because uh, the fact it's supposed to, you know, stay closer to 65 watts. Now, does it always do that? Uh, no, you see it actually went up to 107 watts. This guy went up to 104 watts. And it probably is not going to go uh, any higher. Yeah, things start to drop off. Uh, and with OBS running, like I said, this benchmark will not score out very well, so we won't finish that. Uh, and most likely the, uh, the rest of the scores won't change much. All right, so let's see, 107 still the high. Temp-wise, still 59 degrees. All right, well, I guess we'll run this all the way to the end since it's almost done. 
power limit throttling is still on and once again you see that over here and so that's you know trying to keep it under control right trying to keep it under 65 watts at least that's what I'm, I'm thinking it is alright so you see the score was lower with OBS on obviously and they they tell you you know you do a benchmark try and close all your stuff right uh, some of them tell you to not be on the internet Heck, unplug your computer from the internet alright so let's do what you guys came here for let's adjust the power limit so uh, PL1 I'm gonna slide this okay and I'm gonna stop a second when we hit okay so as long as I stop somewhere after 224 PL2 adjusts okay so I'm gonna run this all the way to the end and boom this also PL2 goes all the way to unlimited I'm gonna click apply and then we are going to run the benchmark again I'm gonna hit that button so let's go ahead and look at the other uh, benches Cinebench boom 47.64 okay so pretty big improvement just by adjusting the power limits now XTU over here actually went down a little bit why that is I don't know I might have been able to run it again and get higher but uh, it appears that this software did not care and there's probably a reason for that um, and that answer may be when we look at this Here's your 10700. Look at this. What were we before? We were 78. We're at 95. We're in the 95 percentile. Now, I actually was at one time I did this. I got to 100 percent, but uh, 95 is pretty darn good, right? This is your uh, real world speed relative to the best alternative. So, ranking wise, if you look at how these are ranked, this is uh, how these guys rank this. So, 102 is higher than uh, what this normally scores out at. Um, even this score is probably higher than what this normally scores at. To see that, you would have to come over here, uh, let's see, and see right here, uh, worst bench was 87, but the highest was 101, so mine's actually higher uh, than that. Um, and mine probably does not register because I've I've done this a few times. <laughs> They, I think they take only the first one. So here is the 10900, 105. Okay, so it's uh, not quite as good as that, but it's it's up there. All right, so we uh, we need to do this again. So we're going to clear the data. And 52, 53. So it's all it's all dropped down. So I'm gonna hit this again. Now going back to this, um, you see this this score here changed also. These other ones are pretty close, but this one changed quite a bit, and mainly the four core. That went from 543 to 570. So there may be some gaming out there that would see an improvement, right? Single core score, this actually went down. So it's potentially not going to be any better for a single core game. Now one thing that I may do in another video is do some uh, video editing and uh, run a few iterations and see if it actually helps the, uh, the video editing out. All right, so this thing's going. Let's take a look. Temp's got uh, 65, so doing unlimited, the the temperature actually did go up, okay? Uh, package TDP, 114, so that's a little higher, but you'll notice over here, uh, power limit throttling. There is no power limit throttling, okay? Thermal throttling, no thermal throttling. And the reason it didn't thermal throttle is because it didn't get up to 100 degrees Celsius. And then let's look at, uh, so that was 114. The core is now 111. So 
both of those went up higher, but not significantly higher. Like, you know, if you set it unlimited, you're like, oh, this is going to hit some ridiculously high uh, wattage, and it doesn't do it. So this score, once again, lower than uh, what it was before, and that's because of OBS. All right, folks, so I think I covered everything I wanted to in this video. I uh, apologize for the length of it, and uh, I hope you got something out of it. Uh, I know a bunch of people have asked me to do some more power limit videos, um, so we're just, you know, messing around with this. I got this good CPU cooler, so I finally felt comfortable about, you know, rocking this all the way to unlimited. Uh, in the future, I'll probably do a video on the 10, the i5 10 400, and I don't think we can even mess with the i3s. I'm pretty sure when I go into the i3 that it's it's fixed. Um, but we'll mess with the i5, and we'll do a very similar video. Um, and then at some point we'll uh, take a look at it uh, editing and gaming, okay, and see if there's an improvement. But uh, hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.